Now we're ready to insert the content into the letter. If you were going to create a new template, then you would insert the objects onto the page, you'd position them, you'd make sure they're all aligned, and then you'd use that. However, what we're going to do here is we're going to copy this design exactly. So we need to understand what the positioning is, what the size is of all the objects on the page, okay? That's what we need to do. And if you take your word skills to a higher level later on and you end up doing work for clients, you'll use this exact same process when building their templates. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to replicate this top box into our new document. So first of all, we need to understand what we're dealing with here. Now this box is actually called a text box. And even though it's got a picture in, it's still a text box and it's got a couple of lines of text in there and different to what I've got in the body of the document if I click on the address here you can see we're using Calibri body 11 whereas if I click on the text in here we're now using Calibri body 10 of course I couldn't see that if I was on one of the other tabs and that's why I've put these in the ribbon so to find out what the size is of this box and, and all the other attributes of this box I left click on the box to select it then I right click and I get the actions which are associated with the item that I've selected. And down the bottom here I've got more layout options and I click on that. And the layout dialog shows. And I can see three tabs. One is the position. It shows that the absolute position is 2.54 centimeters to the right of the page. That's one inch. That's exactly the same as our margin, as our left margin, yeah? So this means that that box, that left edge of that box is going to be perfectly aligned to the margin. And the position is, the absolute position is zero centimeters below the page. Um, I don't want any text above it. I could also select the alignment top of the page, but that's what Word chose to select. I don't want any of these options down the bottom. I don't want the overlap, move object with text or lock anchor. Next I go to text wrapping and I see the wrapping is top and bottom. And I have 0 0.2 centimeters down there. And again, this is what gives us the precision. Then I have the size of the box, and it tells us the height is 4.4 centimeters, the width is 5 centimeters. The height and width, because it's a text box, will be 100%. However, if I inserted an image or something like that, the scale could be different. That's what they're there for, mainly for images. It uses the same dialog box as this one. So once I've written all these settings down, I can click on Cancel. And then I can go to my new document. And I need to insert a text box. So I click on insert, come across to the text section here. On the left we have text box. Click on the drop down arrow and then select simple text box. Now if I try and resize this with the text in the box, Word will play up and it will be awkward to, to do. So it's the, the first thing we need to do is just delete the text from the box. This word will try and resize the box to the text. So if we take the text out of there, it gives us more control. So I can't move this any higher because it's actually set as square text wrapping, okay? But I want to go into more layout options. And now I'm going to look at the position. And the first thing I want to do is text wrapping because I want to put it, I want to put the text top and bottom as I did before in the previous document. If I leave it as in line with text or square, Word's going to struggle to position it where it can't go. So the absolute position was one inch to the right of the page. And the I'm going to put the vertical alignment as top relative to the page um, because that's where I want it. And I don't want these two options. So the text wrapping's there. I can move that to zero because when it's aligned at the top of the page, you're not going to get any text wrapping above it. And then I can pick the size and I want 4.4 and I want absolute 5 and then I click on OK. Now Word can be awkward with text boxes so I might have to just go in and just reset that 4.4 and there we go that's the box set to 4.4 so it's 2.54 centimeters to the right of the page the alignments top of the page top and bottom and the height and width is exactly what we want. 